action continues here at uh, Bruce Pullman Park in Takanini. This is the National Secondary Schools Championships 2023. Game number two for you today on day number one. And we're into the boys' championship now. And this is Hayata Community Campus up against Aurere College of Auckland. Looking forward to seeing this match. This is not for the premiership. This is a championship. So it's the next tier down. And we've got uh, a number of teams in this uh, championship and uh, we are uh, locking in a Pool B clash, in fact a Pool A clash, other teams that are competing in this, Marcelin College from Auckland, Pukukohe, Otahuhu as well, and Nakura Iwi Aotearoa Takura Senior Boys team is also in this pool as well, other teams in the other pool include uh, Tauranga Boys Westlake, Papa Toi Toi, Wesley College, James Cook Howick, so a spread, good spread of teams that are in this championship. So great to have Hayata too up from Christchurch for this clash already, of course. Uh, should have a uh, good, powerful team to go through this championship and really compete strongly. So kick off in just a few minutes time if you missed the earlier match we had a premiership match between St Thomas of Canterbury and Kelston boys that was won by St Thomas by 26 points to 6 coming up a little bit later on on day 1 we've got two more matches after this one we're going to have a girls match next between Tokoroa and Kaipoi and then to conclude day 1 coverage at 2 o'clock Southern Cross Last year's semi, one of uh, the semi-finals from last year, up against Rotorua Boys. That will be in a premiership match. So we're still three minutes out from the start of this clash, so uh, stay with us. Kickoff is uh, not too far away. Hayata Community Campus to kick off. So we're underway. 20 minute halves here on day one of the championship. And already with the first possession. Got some big lads in their side, haven't they? Always good to see them getting stuck in. If you're just watching this game for the first time, a great uh, growth from last year to this year. We've got 38 teams across all the divisions here this year, up from 21 from 2022. So fantastic uh, growth. Great work by the New Zealand Rugby League to get schools, a lot more schools engaged in the sport. Got a wonderful festival of young rugby league talent on display, both boys and girls, over the next a few days. And that was a great Go charge now! into the line, is, wasn't Go it? Off! There from oh. Mahu Dalamir. Not there, 12. Still here for Aureri College. Oh, big run coming through from Tatupu Leilua. Great offload. And almost scored a brilliant try there was Moy, And he just dropped Go the now! ball. Well, hard luck there for Aureri. Patupu oh, no. oh. Lua, what a run from him and great hands for the big fella as well. Hayata just survive and that was a close call right there for Denzel Siaki. Siaki in the end plays it pretty well, so Hayata coming away now and here comes Dante Siaki. And he's earned his team a penalty there. So good work there by Hayato. Of course, the St. Thomas of Canterbury team were very good in their execution. On the red, on the red. One foot on. Looking at uh, across their team, some good athletes in the side, including this lad right here, Samuela. Waikarawa. The winger, looking forward to seeing him in action as we see 
Denzel Siaki again. Charge over the 40. Let's see if they can execute here through Tala. This is Sean Tala. Down to the 20. On the line, on the line. Otala playing it. Back on the inside comes Cortada. Nice angle rung by Cortada, who's still got it. And proving very tough to tackle. And a penalty coming for Hayata. That's back-to-back penalties for them. Tyrell Cortada. Great run from him. And Hayata got a good roll on here. Christchurch side. It's you, mate. Well, just getting it sorted as we see Tongya take the first touch. Kenai Tongya just a couple of metres out. In the dummy oh. half is Tyrell Kakoi. Good defence by Old Eddie College. They're keeping him out. It's a close call. He's right on the line. Kakoi again. And it's been touched. By Sean Tala. And it's been ruled a knock on. That's unfortunate for Hayata. Just couldn't quite get set there for the next play. And unfortunately, we're not able to keep clean possession. So, oh, already severely on defence there. They managed to keep their opponents out for the meantime. And now have a chance to clear their line. Lock it all up. You've got to get in. You've got to get in. Maintain when you're ready, Tim. Out! Move that line! Good Hold. carry, first of all, there by Katalao Asso. Already. Here's uh, Mahu Dalamir again. Big out. run earlier. He's Hold. proving tough to, to tackle, Hold isn't he? Mahu Dalamir. There's a dab from dummy half from EJ Manu Delamere. On the halfway line. Now Aureri coming through. Coming forward nicely through Tufue. And penalties coming thick and fast in this game. The referee wants good clean ruck speed and he's not getting it. So it was Mwe. Who was uh, luring that penalty? Not, just not quite quick enough to get off there. It was one of the Kakoi players, brothers there. Or Siaki, rather. To Aureri with a, a big chance here. And now here comes Aureri again. This is Pichard. And he's well looked after this time. Pichard to play it. Right in the middle of the field, though. Charge at the line by Tatupu. Okay, move now. Here we are. Tatupu. See, 15 metres out. Away goes Moy. Moy going for the line, and he's got it down to score the try. Tivil Moy over for Aureli College for the first score. And they lead by four points to nil. Good work by Aureli. Those back-to-back penalties really helped them move downfield nicely to score the opening try of this game. And Moy, good play from him. We saw a couple of little darts from dummy half and he sucked in the defence really well there to finish off that movement. So, four points to nil. So I can't, one of the higher to players is going off there, Kalolo Taulu, Taula. Of course, they're very strict with concussion here. Any players sent off for concussion are basically going to be ruled out for the tournament as the conversion goes over. So good score there for Aureli College. And a conversion scored by University Nati. So six points to nil. Oh, they did really well there. Already they held out. 
Payata. And uh, they were down pressing hard on their line. And Ball, to brilliantly to respond with a, a good score. So it's just a rolling clock here. So just a slight pause here as we get the restart. Time you run, boys. Time you run, time you run. So already off that uh, first try. Okay, stand down, noise. Mark a square hole. What? Here's Moy, the try scorer. Now Tatupu Leilua again, looking for that offload. A little messy, but it's still there. And away goes Aurini. Breaking through nicely is EJ Manu Dalamir, really threatening the defensive line of Hayata again. And now they've got a very good roll on here, Aurini College. Penalty coming. They weren't back correctly for the referee, who was right there back at the 10 metres. And a good score. A good play, rather, from Aurini. To really move them forward. The referee's just a uh, here and war warning the uh, Hayata team to just uh, watch their discipline. Here we are, gentlemen. Here we are. Here we go. So 30 metres out. Already get stuck into the action again. Oh, no! Here we are. Pungi Carl with that first carry. Another penalty. And that's going against number 13, Tongia for Hayata. On the line. On the line. On the line. Here we are, boy. Wait. Pick it up for me, eh? Pick it up for me. Yeah, cool. So Moy with the tap restart. 13, you've got to use your hand. Stand here up, comes Saleh Tatupu. Here we are. Here we are. Hold. Hold. 12 oh. metres out. Moy. And here comes uh, EJ Manu Dalamir. And a score in the corner. Looked pretty good there, didn't it? And I'm oh, really absolutely delighted as we see Nati go over to score it. And that was excellent. Finishing off by Aurelli College. Good execution from them again. Good draw and pass. And it's Jarius Mahu Dalamir opening the space up for Nutty, who goes over to finish it. So happy days for Aurelli. They're out to 10 to nil with the kick to come. Tough conversion attempt, though, from the sideline. He's got plenty of distance on it, but it's waved away. So it's 10 points to nil. Score remains already. College have a uh, good lead over Hayata Community Campus from Christchurch. Make sure you wrap them. Okay, make sure you wrap him. Rest, you got to rest for the leading arm. Stay on side, boys. Stay with. Yeah. Yeah. Some more possession coming here for Aurelli College. Stand they up, really are go. dominating. Ho! Ho! Well done, boys. Position at well the well moment for Tupu. Hayata desperate to try and get an error. But their ruck speed is good again. Running onto it nicely was Pritchard. Two or three big middle forwards already college. Moy waits at dummy half. And here comes Tatapu Leilua this time. Ian backing into the fence looking for that offload. 
Not giving him that time to Moy. Here's uh, Manu Dalamir. Exciting play again by Ariri. Down that left edge this time by Ulinga. Delayed the pass beautifully. The try line's right there. Gathered by Manu Dalamir. He's going to go over and score the try himself. Didn't like the after effects of it. But it looked pretty good there for EJ Manu Dalamir. And finally the try is going to be awarded. Well, excellent set coming through there from deep within their own half. Good work there, wasn't it? And excellent elusive skills by Manu Dalamir. And by Kararawa. Just a little bit late there to stop the try from being scored. So happy days for Aureri. They have uh, got a decisive lead. With six minutes to play in this first half. Hope you're enjoying the coverage here of this New Zealand Secondary Schools Championship for day one, 2023. Beautiful day here at Bruce Pullman Park. Just a gentle as a breeze, lovely warm spring day now, isn't it? Spring, of course, first day of spring today. This try can be converted. It's not going to be. So 14 points to nil. Moy, Nati, and Mahu, Manu Dalamir, rather, scoring the tries. And one conversion to EJ Manu Dalamir as well. So 14 to nil. Plenty of. Uh, Thinking ahead for Hayata as they look to try and fight their way back into this concert. They've just got to get their hands on the ball. Haven't had any ball for the last, uh, well, it feels like 10 minutes. And, of course, the next few minutes, too, they won't have any ball, too, provided already complete their set. Come, you're on! Already again. Have the chance to move downfield. Hayata. This Hayata team from Christchurch will be definitely keen to try and lure an error out of Already, but it's not been coming at all. The error rate very good for Already. Good charging run into the line there, wasn't it, from Asso? Another big ball-carrying player. Unfortunate, perhaps, not to... Uh, oh, lost play the ball, and that's the best shot of the day so far. Great hit there by Denzel Siaki, but back comes Aureri. He's been a big player, isn't he, as is Jeremiah Tatapu Leilua. It's been a joy to watch the number one for Aureri. Got some lovely hands and good offloading game as well, and there's the kick from Aureri. And back goes Hayata. Great kick right in the corner. And it's tough yards coming up now for Hayata, who finally gets some possession. Driven back into the 10. Hayata will be very, very important to get for them to get to their kick here. As Kakoi plays it at dummy half. And now here's Tongia. Kakoi back into dummy half. Another player that we saw at the District 9s here earlier on in the year. And that's good play. Here comes Hayata coming forward now. They're on the 40. And it looked like there might have been a bit of a late tackle earlier. In fact, it was a head high tackle there. That one there, just drifting up a touch high. So this is just what Hayata needed with three minutes to play in the first half.
On me. They really do need a score. Wait. Ten. These next Ten. to two and a half minutes, Hayata. This is their opportunity now. Full set inside Aureri's half. Dante Siaki with the One. first Square. carry. Oh. Kakoi waits at dummy half. Now the next carry comes Woodward. Kakoi again. On that short side they go. Looking for space behind the ruck. That's a good little dab. Now Hayata. Get a bit more ruck speed this time. It was at uh, dummy half. Now they're playing some football on this left. A bit of a kick and chase, but unfortunately just drifts out from Salmalu. So already are going to get a scrum feed here. Salmalu here just didn't quite get the angle. I think he was obviously trying to get it inside the in goal area. To really apply some pressure on Aureri. And here they come again. These big ball running yeah, forwards. Katalao Aso. Good run from him. Now throwing himself into the action is Ulu, Uluinga. Moi at dummy half. Here comes Saleta Tupu again. Beautiful play from Aureri. If that player was just ahead of the kicker there for a second. And uh, the bounce is beautiful. It's Nutty again who scores. Beautiful kick chase try. But was he ahead of the kicker? He was. He was. I caught it earlier. I did wonder if Nutty was half a metre in front. That's a shame. Look at him here. He's, uh, yeah, he's half a metre in front there. But what a shame, because the bounce was perfect for him, and the blinding speed that he had would have been rewarded, but not to be. So Hayata, survive. Here we are, boys. Well, the courage has been there from Hayata. Just haven't had the possession or the opportunities to really mount pressure on Aureri's line as Woodward takes the next carry. Right on half time here now in this game. Fasal. Still a chance here. Still opportunities late in this first half. He's a good little dab at the line. Busting through tackles brilliantly there is Ngalo. And he's taken. 12 metres short. This is the last play of the first half. Hayata desperate for one last opportunity here to get on the scoreboard. Is there a two-on-one situation? Oh, it is going to be a score right on half time for Denzel Siaki. And that's a much-needed try for Hayata Community Campus. Well, the endeavour was rewarded. And well finished here by Denzel Siaki. Had a bit of work to do, didn't he? There's a few Aureri college players right there. But uh, a good score right on half-time. And Hayata now have given themselves a chance in the second half for sure. Oh, an extra two points here will be valuable. So here is the conversion attempt. It's an important one. Get Hayata back to within eight points. And it's over. Nice kick there. So it is 14 points to 6. At half time here in this boys championship match at the Secondary Schools Nationals for 2023.
some story right here. Kia ora. Let's get you ready to go out there and have an epic rugby league game. But first things first, let's have a hmm. A simple warm-up is a game changer. Not only will it improve your performance, but it will reduce the chances of you getting an injury. And if you want to skip the sore muscles, don't skip the cool down. Now tackling is a big part of the game, so don't cheat on the technique. A good tackle technique will help keep everyone safe. Collisions happen all the time, so it's important to know how to spot a concussion and what to do if it happens to you or a teammate. Sweet ass, have a hmm, then go get into it. At Vertec, we understand that our customer needs their plant and equipment up, running and available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Using only world-class product from the likes of Bridgestone and Yokohama, there is no compromise for your valuable machines. Our attention to detail and precision is second to none. It's this customer experience that separates Pertec from the pack. Pertec will keep you operating. Second half, not too far away here for this boys' championship pool A match between Hayata and Aureli. Three tries to one. It is in the first half. Moy, Nati, and Amanu Dalamir for Aureli. That try right on half time to Denzel Siaki. For Hayata. Here's that try one more time. The big pass, and Siaki gave him just enough space go over and get his team on the board keep them in touch with already so there we are that's where we are with 20 minutes of this game to play so second half already to kick off and Hayata straight away there's a good shot and their big lads up the middle have been super impressive in this first half, Jeremiah Tatapu Leilua, also Sale Tatupu, and so been impressed yeah. with the hard charging Asso as well. Yeah, yeah. I called you and you keep fighting goals. Another penalty in. coming in early. this game. And it's Hayato who get this first penalty of the second half. This is a good one, too. They're 40 metres out, so a touch finder here. And a good, well executed set. We'll get a Hayata. In a try scoring position, you'd think. We're here. Don't go early, Ken. So oh. pressure going to come on Aureli's oh. goal line again. Wait for the tap. Wait for the tap. New Zealand Secondary Schools Championships. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. I'm reminding you, at uh, 1 o'clock we'll have our next game, and that will be Tokoroa and Kaiapoi. Going at it in a girls' championship match. And then we're going to conclude our coverage today with that uh, premiership match between Southern Cross and Rotorua Boys coming up at uh, 2 o'clock. And here comes Hayata coming forward again. No space time well, for that time, rather. Some good defence from Aureli. And Kakoi still continues at dummy half. This is Daniel Woodward. But he's going nowhere fast. Again, some very good tackling. Kakoi. 
Charging into the line is Kenai Tongia. So he's still about 12 metres out. Another penalty coming. And Paya this time is conceding the penalty for Aurere College. Kenimi Nato Paya. On your touches, on your touches. Okay, four. One marker. So, Hayata. Kakoi going close again. Tyrell. Kakoi. Referee's just going to uh, pause proceedings. Looks like a uh, already player has uh, got a problem here. Reminding you that if there's a concussion, if any of these players are... Uh, Go for a concussion, they're uh, going to be ruled out of the rest of the week. End. They won't be playing again. No, uh, some strict but good concussion rules in play here for this championship. So, yeah, looks like uh, that player won't take any further part in the in the contest. I hope he's going to be okay. So, Hayata able to carry on with this game. And they're straight back into the thick of the action now. Okay, now. now eh? oh! Oh! Taken just five metres out. Woodward uses a decoy. It's big floating pass work treat in the first half. Good play coming against Siaki's going to get a double. Number three, Denzel Siaki. That was a very well executed play there by Hayata. There's no question that when those sort of plays are executed, well, they're very hard to defend. Late pass at the line. A couple of dummy runners to confuse the defence. Splintered defensive line is Siaki. He's going to power over. And get his team right back in the hunt now. Well, they conceded the first three tries of the game. And they've come back with two themselves now, Hayata. So, game on here if this goal goes over as well. So, it's going to be Tahu, Tama, Utai. With the conversion attempt here. Did well to convert the first try from a similar angle. And he was online there, but ended up not having the, the distance. So 14 to 10. But Hayata, if they can execute one more good play inside the 20 like that, who knows, they could take the lead now. From Aureri. So plenty for Aureri to think about now. Having conceded those back to back tries on either side of half time. And oh. oh. both of them for Hayata. Here's Woodward, spinning out of a couple of tackles, making himself a threat up the middle of the field. Like it. Kakoi, dummy half. And now here's the halfback, Tama Utaki, taking the tackle that time. Siaki going nowhere this time. Here, take a step. Ho, go. You're not there, first marker. Keep going. Last tackle. Stand well, halfway. They've got their last play now. There goes the kick from Kakoi. And a drive back. That's a good kick. It's well weighted into the end goal there. 
What's their right? line speed right though as we see a good return of the football there by fullback Antonio Ulanir for Aureli College. Moy back at dummy half. And a penalty. Those players were offside. So a relieving penalty coming up for Aureli College. EJ Manu Dalamia. Here's for a chance for Aureli to tack in the second half. At, uh, six minutes of play now. Let's see what they can cook up here. Opening charge by Fasavalu. Looking for that offload they need there from Mahu Dalamir. Good run by Jarius. Hard luck for Aureli. It looks like a little knock on or maybe an incorrect play the ball there for Aureli. That's a real shame. They had a really good roll on there. Let's see if we can pick it up here. Well, not much in it, but there was a slight fumble, wasn't there, as he was placing the ball. So, Hayata. Pack it in. Lock it up. Got to have absolute control of the play the ball. Out. Oh, straight away, Hayata have made an error. Here's a chance for Aureli to capitalise. Still there. Mahu Dalamir has taken just a few metres out. Big chance for Aureli to reassert their dominance. And reasserting their dominance beautifully there, Jeremiah Tatapu Lelua. And he has been a menace for Hayata's defence all game. And he gets the first try of the second half for Aureli College. Tatupu Lelua. He has been brilliant in this game. So he gets the score. He gets already a much needed try to get them moving forward after conceding two on the trot. 18 to 10 with the kick to come. And EJ Manu Dalamir, who converted the first try that Moy scored, and now has got a, uh, a nice simple attempt here, perhaps. For this try. <coughs> and he does that. So it's a 10 point game. China. With about 11 to play. Hope you're enjoying the coverage, folks. Reminding you, we had a win earlier game today in the Premiership here. St. Thomas of Canterbury, 26 points to six over Kelston. That was in the Premiership, which is the top grade here. This uh, game here is for the Championship that we're watching at the moment. Let's go, boys. We've more time. 38 teams here. There's a lot of rugby league being played at the moment, I can tell you, on not only this field, but outer fields as well. Looking at a couple of results that have come in in the Premiership. De La Salle have beaten Southern Cross 22 to 12. In fact, that game's still going on, isn't it? Yes. Oh, no, that has finished now. 22 points to 12. Manu Rewa has beaten Rotoro Boys 28 points to 6. Oh, a little error there off the kickoff. St. Paul's, who of course won the Auckland title 18 to 4 over Mags. So that's some of the boys' premiership. The first round of the girls' championship is being played at the moment. So no full-time scores coming in from there just yet. But we will have that girls' match coming up next here on field number one between Tokoroa and Kaipoi. That's coming up at one o'clock. So Hayata, big chance here. They really need to score, you'd think, from the set. 
Can have a chance. There's a great offload. And they will score. Fantastic rugby league from the Christchurch base team. A very nice try off the scrum. Yeah, we'll see if we can pick up who scored that try. But that was beautifully executed. Nothing like a good offload coming right there. Yeah, it was number 11 with the offload. Just can't quite pick up the number on the back of that jumper, but it was a great run by Cortada. So, 20 points to 14. We've got a very good game on here. Oh, hard luck for Pitama Utai there. Not going to convert the try. So let's see if we can just pick up this number here. It's number four, isn't it? Number four, it is Lewis Ngalo, who has gone over to score it. Very good try. 20 points to 14. So it's a six-point margin. I had to get a converted try. They could sc they could uh, draw this match. Time you run, time you run, time you run. So important kickoff here for Aureli. These next couple of sets are going to be important with eight minutes to play. The execution is critical here. Up now, four. I had to oh. do not want to make an error early in the set. They're only twenty meters out from their own line. Remember. Proving elusive again is Tyrell Cortada. He set up that last try for Ngalo to go over and score. It's a good tackle coming in there from Aureli. Pungi Kao. Now, it looks like uh, there could be some concern over that player back slamming into the ground there with his head. Remember, any issues with concussion? Just going player. through a, a little concussion test here. Our to the under 15 boys carnival. That one kicks off 20 minutes time. Now 1 p.m. So all the time here, that's the game. Coming up our 1 p.m. Field 2. Manudewa High School take on. So it's a con concern again. Three in the next round. Uh, concussion. Sees that uh, player replaced. It just gives an opportunity for another player to come through. They take off the ball. And on field 5 in the next round. Tackle 2, boys. Tackle 2, boys. Versus Tama Key College. Here's Woodward with the next carry for Hayata. Oh! Release! Take a step! Two, 21! 21! Well, seen them execute occasionally very well. So we see Siaki poking his knife through bring again. Oh. No Siaki oh. players Dante and Denzel have been very handy on this right edge. Throwing himself into the action now is Anderson. Oh, Hayata on the last play now. 21, you're on there. And you there goes the kick from out. Tama Utai. It's a good kick too. And the end has been nicely gathered there by Ulangia. It's a useful prospect to fullback, doesn't he? The number 15. Nati, good little feed of the football there to Mahu Dalamir. Straight into the action. This is a good charge up the field by Asso. Well, Asso got great footwork off the mark, hasn't he? Got great pace, and unfortunately, the referee just getting tangled up there. So they're going to go back to the previous play of the ball. So the momentum that already had built up has been lost. That was a little bit uh, of a bummer for them. 
That's the same play. As Arsul. He ends up making about the same metres that he did before. Nice back up footwork back, back on the inside by Mahu Dalamir. No, no, no! Oh, and Eddie still trying to pounce up, and he's already got one try, has Tatapu oh, Leilua. You were out of place. You can't get involved. And it's another penalty. Oh, Eddie have a chance now to really put this game to bed here with a full set, 10 metres out, and only four minutes left on the clock. And once again, it's Asso and Tatapu Leilua. Their fierce runs of the football have been very, very effective. And getting very close to scoring there is Shaza Tangkau. Looking for the score was Aso. He was looked after that time. Big pass to the football there. And Nutty. Is over the line, but it's been ruled forward. So it's not going to be a score for a second try in the game for Nutty. This pass here. Big pass from Saleh Tatupu. It's been ruled a touch forward. So there's still hope for Hayata. Got to go the length of the field here, basically. Three and a half minutes. They might uh, have maybe another set after this. Possibly two. Oh! That'll be about it, you'd think. Yep. Well, there's a little fumble at the play, the ball. There's hard luck there for Hayata. There it is there, just losing it. And Aureri will be very happy with that. One more score from them, of course, and you'd think that will put the game to bed for the team in green. Wait, wait. Yep, falling. So, probably the last place we heard the Huda go in the background. And Aureri to Fuwe. Oh! Still a bit of time left. And now in from fullback comes Ulinga again. Asso at dummy half back on the inside and over he goes. Another try for Tatupu Leilua. And he has been a star in this game for sure. Has the big front rower. Excellent score from him. See him there lining up the number one. Oh, in fact, it is Tatupu back on the inside. It's the number three that scores at Saleh Tatupu. So both big boppers up the middle have scored tries in this game for Aureri College. And uh, they really have been a big difference between the two teams in this Justin contest. So EJ Manu Dalamir with this conversion attempt from in front. So 26 points to 14. One more look at this try. Well, they're all looking on that open side and they left Tartupu to stroll over. <laughs> Good to see a big smile on the big man. 26 to 14. Wow, the college have had uh, the, the joy of uh, just creating the scoreboard pressure all the way through. Always had their noses in front. And have kicked on nicely in the second half. Got a bit tight there, 14 to 10. Not long after half time. The two converted tries have really 
made the game safe. Here he comes again, Tatupu. And now it is Tatupu Lelua, who's again proving hard to tackle. And the offload, brilliant. How good was that? Oh, they go back to their big men to really get them rolling forward. And now, now we're getting Jarius Mahu Dalamir. Asso at dummy half. And now here comes the other Asso in the team. Again proving tough to tackle. Katalao Asso. And dummy half is Liuli Asso. And now Uluinga. Asso. At dummy half, there goes the Huda for full time. Manu Dalamir with the kick. And it's still there for Moy. You got the first try. And that will be the end of the game. A good win for Aurere College. They've got it over Hayata Community Campus by 26 points to 14. Three tries in the first half, two in the second. Five try game for Aurere. Five tries to three. Good game of Boys Championship. National Secondary Schools Rugby League here on field number one at Bruce Pullman Park. So it's Aurere College from South Auckland who win this game by 26 points to 14. We're going to come back at just before 1 o'clock for our next match. And it's in the girls' championship game number one, well, number one of the day for Tokoroa and Kaipoi. That's coming up shortly.